This is a very important moment for Indian space research organization ISRO scientists and engineers because today Aditya L1 spacecraft did successful maneuver and has reached its intended destination the Lagrange 1 point from where it will do its hello orbit and study sun carefully and thoroughly there are seven payloads one is to study plasma papa there is helios there is well there is suit the solar uv imaging telescope that will study sun in the ultraviolet range and it has been designed and created by pune's ayuka scientists and engineers then there are other payloads that will study the coronal mass ejection, plasma state of matter, so on and so forth. The magnetic field that is magnetometer will do its study. So the mission objectives will be executed in the next five years. Basically this mission is also planned to study the space weather because sun is the central star of a solar system. and it is also the source of solar flares and solar winds that are very hazardous to our satellites and not only that but the astronauts living and working in space on board the international space station the solar winds are very very hazardous in the next year in this year or next year isro plans to send gaganyan the most ambitious mission our very own indigenous space station so the cosmonauts or the astronauts or gaganauts living and working in space need to be very safe and risk free. Therefore this mission is a precursor and it will enable us to know the sun weather and the space weather and according to which we can plan our future missions. <clears throat> to study sun, our central star of our solar system, we need to study the heliophysics. Scientists had done some speculations and derived some equations and have done theoretical work. However, these payloads will do and conduct experiments in space. Therefore, this is an advanced astronomy observatory. It is a space-based solar observatory that will continue to keep giving us results in the next five years. And the various aspects of sun we need to know because the outermost layer of sun, corona, is the most dynamic and we need to study, study it thoroughly. Then we also need to know the photosphere, chromosphere and various other aspects. We also know that hydrogen, hydrogen fusion takes place and sun is a huge gigantic nuclear reactor. Therefore, nowadays we hear about coronal mass ejection or CME and lot of solar flares coming out of the sun so the life of sun and its lifespan and other dynamics also will be studied by aditya l1 mission congratulations and best wishes to team aditya l1